Hey everybody, it's Lex from PDQ.com. You know, I am the laziest sysadmin you will ever meet. And when I say lazy, I like to automate everything so anything redundant, I don't have to do twice. Third-party patch management falls into things I really don't like to do. So I'm gonna take you through how you can automate your third-party patch management using PDQ Deploy and PDQ Inventory. So let's just jump in. I we have our package library, and in our package library, we've got pre-built packages. The nice thing about these, you can automate every single one of those. Let's just walk through. We're going to automate our uh, Chrome update. So Chrome, I'm going to download. So select Chrome. I'm going to download the selected package, which will download Chrome. Now, we built this to be an auto-update package. So what happens is uh, your default settings, if you hadn't changed those under preferences, under auto downloads, it basically says right here, if I don't make any changes to this, when a new version of Chrome comes out or any of the packages you grab from the package library, it's going to automatically replace the one on your console with the new one after seven days. So that's nice. I don't have to test for, you know, Google or Java or any of the other packages. I can wait a week. So. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a schedule. So I'll go up here and I'll hit new schedule. Let's call this Chrome, because it's always good to have a title for your schedule. And it triggers. I want this to run, we'll just say once a week would be enough on this. So we'll say Friday at, uh, let's just do that after hours. We'll do it at 8 p.m. Okay. Targets. Now the important thing about targets is you need to basically know which machines need it. Inventory is where that comes into play. If we go to inventory. We do maintain our collection library here, and you'll notice I've got Chrome. I've got 31 machines that have Chrome Enterprise on it. 16 of them have the latest version of Chrome, and 15 have an older version of Chrome, and then I've got 10 that don't have Chrome. Now, the 10 that don't have Chrome don't have Chrome for a reason, okay? That's just because I didn't want Chrome on there, whether they're servers, whatever. The ones I need to concentrate on are the ones that are older versions. You'll notice right up here, right there, you see a version number. So we know that these machines have a version older than uh, 7.1.03 as, uh, as of today's video. So, so I'm going to go back to that schedule and I'm going to link to PDQ inventory collection. And I'm going to go grab, uh, I'm going to go select that Chrome old package. So we'll go back here to collection library, internet browsers. There's Chrome. There's Chrome old. Okay, the next option I want to check is do, stop deploying to targets once they succeed because once they've got the new version of Chrome, they don't need it anymore. I'm going to give that an OK. And now, Friday night at 8 o'clock, it's going to update all 15 of those machines that are in the old status. And it's done for me. Now, the great thing about this is I come in on Monday, all these machines here in the old will have moved up to new, so I'll have 31 machines with the latest version, which is great. Let's say Tuesday new version of Chrome comes out, package gets put out there, the uh, variable that keeps this collection up to date gets updated, so all 31 of those machines will go from the latest to the old. It's going to wait seven days to download the new package. Once that package is downloaded on your machine, the Friday after that, it's going to automatically take care of all 31 of those machines, and that will perpetually take care of itself as long as you're using PDQ Deploy and Inventory, keeping your license current. So. Automation, my friends. I don't ever have to touch Chrome again as of right now. It's going to be taken care of for me. So try it out. It works really good. And, uh, you know, lazy it up like me. Catch y'all later. I'm Lex from